Okay. Hi. Hey guys, Hi. how's it going? Let's see if I can fit you both. Yeah, let's get you. We'll get super close. All right. Oh, Thank you. You. you guys look really it's cute nice right now. Yeah, but I know. It's We're not good friends so in real life. I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so can you guys talk about the dissolution of, of this romance? You know? <laughs> you know, I didn't think it was meant to be <laughs> from the beginning. It was just two broken teenagers that found something similar and they, they thought they could do well together because of their, their past. Mm -hmm. um, but because they do the have similar lives. They don't belong in King's Dominion. They don't have parents. They're broken childs and, and of course you know, they find each other, but, 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 mm -mm. <laughs> no, it didn't work out. Although I'm hopeful for the future. Yeah. I hope that maybe later in, I don't know, maybe season three or four, they figure it out and, and, no? <laughs> what are you saying? That was cold, man. That was so cold. This rejection. I'm like, I don't think Marcus or Maria know uh, what a proper relationship is. Um, they could figure it out together. Yes, they could figure it out together. Season three. Oh my three. god. If not, I could totally figure it out with Saya. I think we have more future. <laughs> Sadly, I think we're, we're uh, staying close to the comics. So that's not gonna happen. Sadly. Shoot. I know, I'd watch it. Speaking of Saya, since she's kind of, you know, out of the picture, yeah. she's going to be for season two. How do you think it's gonna affect both of you guys? Like Marcus Maria, she went out of Saya. Well, I don't think she's out of the picture. I hope she's not. I don't think so. No. I think out of, out of our characters' lives for now, um, I don't think she can. I don't think she can survive without us. No. You know, no. I, I don't think she can survive outside of King's Dominion. She needs to graduate valedictorian to to be able to go back to her, her family. Right. Um, so, I do believe that uh, for Maria, that breakup with Saya was the worst kind of breakup. Mm. Um, it really took a toll on her and broke her heart in a million pieces, even more than Marcus. After Saya left her and jumped out the window, literally, she couldn't care less about Marcus. She's like, you know what, I'm done with you. I think Marcus was a bit relieved too. I mean, he, he wasn't ready to be in this kind of relationship. He didn't want to have to deal with anyone else's well, shit. Well, I saw him begging for forgiveness at the end of that scene. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, for me, it was different. Who wants to get caught cheating? <laughs> when, when you first saw the Deadly Class comic books, were you surprised about how dark this could get? I was. Yes. I was surprised that they were making this. I was like, I don't know what to root for when I was reading it. So, the fact that they're making it being so close to the comics, like they're not changing. It's great. The, the, how graphic it is or how violent it is. I could not believe the last episode with a chainsaw and I'm like, yeah. this is not happening, oh my god. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. yeah, so I read the comics uh, before we started shooting the actual show and I would read them before going to bed. Big mistake. Nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. Okay, thank you thank so you much, you guys. Thank you. Thank you.